everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my everyday makeup look. It's going to be a focus on glowy skin, kind of getting bigger lips and just my everyday favourites is kind of what's going to be in this video. So the first thing I like to do, which is kind of my best, not best tip, I don't have any tips here, I'm not some makeup guru, wish I was but I'm not. So the first thing I like to do to kind of achieve a really glowy base is use the MAC Strobe Cream. I know I haven't actually mentioned this on my channel before i don't think i have anyway but this is actually one of my favorite favorite products of all time i just feel like it gives you such a moisturizer glowy base so i know you can get a different colors of this i may actually kind of venture out maybe into like a glowy gold one this is just the original i definitely want to get another one for summer because honestly it makes your skin really glow but it also feels so nice on your skin i'm really sorry if you hear any noise um in the background Myself, my mum and my dad are all working from home currently, so you can kind of imagine the situation we've got going on. So if you hear any conference calls, phone calls, that's what we've been dealing with. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is apply some foundation. I use the L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This foundation, I have honestly been through, I don't want to be dramatic, probably about 50 foundations in my time. Like, I used to really want to tr try and find like my holy grail foundation, if you know what I mean. And I tried so many, and so many I literally hated. I did actually try the Born This Way foundation by Too Faced, and that foundation is a dream, like on the skin, it looks so, so nice. But it made me break out like absolute crazy. My mirror's down there as well, if I'm looking that way, this might be a bit annoying, but I don't feel skilled enough to not have a mirror, if you know what I mean, so I'm just not gonna risk that and just have to be looking down here a bit. I was literally like, when I found it, I was like, I found my go-to, like I found my dream foundation. But I honestly broke out so badly to that foundation. It was like deep spots under the skin, which is a bit TMI, but it was not nice. So I honestly feel jealous of anyone who can use that foundation because I loved how it looked, but it just, it obviously just didn't agree with my skin. Okay, so that is the foundation all applied. I love how it looks. I feel like it's just a lightweight, glowy foundation. And those two products combined, the strobe cream and the foundation together just give such a good glowy base like i don't know if you can see the glow i hope you can but it's there so i'm now going to apply a lip primer which is what actually plumps your lips quite a lot so project lip actually very kindly sent me a few products and i love them like i literally had to mention them in the video because they are the only lip plumping products i ever tried that actually work it's just literally like a clear lip balm kind of thing and i'm just going to put it on the lips now just so that i will by the time i come to do the ellipse at the end it will have already had the plumping effect if you know what i mean so i'm going to just go ahead and apply this just like a normal lip balm i've been trying it out for the last few days and i've seen it honestly is just so good it is like a very strong tingle compared to a lot of lip plumbing products but i feel like that's the way it works and i actually love the feeling of it on the lips so yeah i've applied that i'm just going to carry on with the rest of my makeup like normal and then we'll come back to that at the end okay so i actually discovered this concealer which is from l'oreal honestly so big like i don't know how many mils is in this it has the best coverage of a concealer i've ever tried and this color as well i feel like is just perfect for me so i got it in the shade 327 cashmere so I find it really hard to pick the colour because obviously in the collection one it's basically just numbers so I always just pick number one and it's just easy whereas this there's quite a lot of different shades which I actually like because I feel like then you can kind of get the tone you like. I feel like having a concealer where you can pick whether you want it sort of like yellowy tone or more like pinky tone is really good. I'm going to use my Beauty Spend to blend this in. I haven't even wet it. In the struggle. We're back. Also, because this one isn't too bright white, I could also use it, like, with no makeup. So, when I kind of just wear concealer, I could put this on my spots and under my eyes, and it just sort of all blends in nicely with my skin tone. I've been getting way too into TikTok recently. Um, since I've been just in the house, I feel like TikTok is, like, all I've been doing. And I don't know why I keep watching it. I kind of am tempted to make one, you know? Like, when TikTok first came out, I was like, no, like, I really wouldn't have a TikTok. I don't think it's for me and now I'm like I kind of want one really wet. I just can't get the songs out of my head now I'm just going to use the Laura Mercier powder I feel like this powder is just I feel like this is just like a holy grail video basically all my favourite products but this powder is I don't want to say life changing that's a bit dramatic but in terms of makeup makeup changing in a photo a lot of powders I know you can kind of get that white flashback 
this isn't like that so i love this powder so much so i know that kind of looks like all the glow has kind of gone now because of the powder but it, it won't have like i'm gonna bring it back with highlighter trust me so it's all good and this is a bit weird but i just use the same brush i use my powder i'm really sorry if that's annoyed anyone but that is what i do being realistic and just mix all three colors and just kind of go for the bronzer from there and i just literally just put it in my cheekbones and my hair it seems today okay so now we're going to go for blusher my favorite blusher i've mentioned this in every single video is the one from MUA, which is in the shade pie whip this was literally two pound fifty so usually i do have a few brushes for this kind of process but i've actually washed them all so that's why we're kind of dealing with like four brushes in this tutorial so tutorial who do i think i am am i okay in this makeup look i overdo it and i feel like i'm overdoing it now but i'm still keeping going i don't know why i'm gonna stop now i'm gonna stop Okay, so now I'm going to go with highlighter. This highlighter is honestly so, so good. This is from Kiko and it's the 208. It's like a long lasting eyeshadow. I think that's what it's called. And this is what I feel like just brings back the glow. I like to use this like fun brush from Morphe. I think all the brushes I've used so far have been from Morphe. So I feel like when I film a makeup tutorial, it is, ends up being so long. So I just have a good old chat. I just love sitting down having a chat. I feel like I would like watching long videos, so I'm sorry if you don't, but might be a bit of a long one. But then if I was to do this makeup look sort of off camera, then it would honestly take me less than 10 minutes. So that is the glow sort of added back in. I just am a big fan of this highlighter. I don't think this is very expensive either. This is like one of my favorite drugstore products as well. Um, also one of my favorite things from Kiko is their lip glosses. So the glow's back, it's back, it's ready to go and I just love how this makes the skin look. I'm gonna do my eyes and with the eyes, I don't actually do a lot on day to day basis. Eye primer, I just feel like it is a, a really essential part. So I literally put a little bit on my eyes of this and just blend it out with my finger. I just grab a big fluffy brush. This is just the Morphe M573. I don't know why I decided to tell you the names of the brushes now. I think the other ones, I went to New York for my 18th birthday and I picked up these like, gold brush from Morphe and it's just like the face set. They do do it in the Morphe store in Birmingham as well, that set. So if you just look out for like, the gold brush set, then that's what I use. But then for eyes, back to eyes again. Oh, and the primer I used was Urban Decay Primer Potion. Love that. I've been through about five tubs of this. Tubs? Not a tub, is it? So after I've put the primer on my eyes, I'll literally take this colour always from my Tarte palette, the small one. So it's kind of like, sorry, that's really dusty in there. The white one there and i'm gonna be really sad when that runs out runs out when that runs out because it's just the perfect matte eye color if anyone can recommend any good single kind of creamy slash white eye shadows then let me know i really need a new one that doesn't consist of buying a whole new palette of this because that's expensive and i just take like an orangey color i'm gonna be using the jaclyn hill palette today probably gonna go with that one there blend that through the crease the only thing about this is it doesn't have a mirror which is kind of sad but we can deal with it so yeah nothing special i literally just blend kind of like a neutral color through the crease and i'm gonna take the um this yellow color i just feel like i'm feeling i was gonna do just nude eyes and nothing really special but then i thought i've seen that yellow and it's just screaming it's spring to me so i'm gonna put that over the lid as well see if I can zoom you in a bit loving the kind of yellow and sage green I'm just I just feel like it's a bit of a spring vibe so I thought I may as well go for it so I'm just going to use the Morphe E36 which is just a very small brush just to do my under eye because I feel like the under eye is such a crucial step for me so let's pick a colour I'm going to go with a mix of like these two i feel just sort of like a darker brown than what i've used on my eye the yellow which i used on the lid this i'm just kind of winging this i'm gonna put it a little bit in the inner eye so you can kind of see how that looks like i'm a bit closer because i actually have my eyebrows already dyed like i've had them tinted and waxed and stuff 
but all I literally do to my brows anyway is take a little spoolie and just brush them all the way up and then usually I would just go ahead and use the dip brow I'm only going to use a tiny bit because obviously my brows are already filled in but what the key step is is just taking a little bit on this a really thin brush it's the best thing you need this so either brush 322 I couldn't recommend a brush more this is my favorite brush I think this makes the biggest difference in a brush to my whole makeup look because it's just so thin and I just do like a really clean cut here on either side and then brush upwards from there and then just start flicking up like that that's what I feel like makes the biggest difference to my eyebrows that little step I know it's tiny but I just feel like it makes them look like a really good shape overall and then I'll just literally fill the rest in I mean they don't need a lot today usually they would need a lot more because my brows aren't that dark naturally but I have had them dyed and I told her to do them very dark when she did them because I knew I was going to be in the house for a long time I was like just put black in just do a bit of black and she did so that's what we've gone for we've got very dark eyebrows for my hair colour so hopefully no one's offended by that but this is how I like them okay so that is the brows finished I'm now just going to pop a little bit of the highlighter underneath the brows a bit more there why not a bit more I always say I'm going to put a little bit and I don't even know why I pretend it's not a little bit is it it's absolutely as much as I can get I'm just going to put a little bit more highlighter on a little bit again what are you doing it just lies really isn't it it's just pure lies I'm really sorry and I might even just put a bit I don't know why I've done that no I just I always take it too far there's no need to put it on the forehead this does not go on the forehead I'm gonna put a little bit of under eye mascara on this is from Primark it's called the false lash queen so I get the powder where is it where is it gone it's right in my face it was it was right there the whole time so I use the powder and I just take my beauty blender, which is a bit wet, but it's fine. And then I just put like a stripe along here. And along here, just because I feel like it makes the contour, well it wasn't even contour, it just makes the bronzer look a bit more sort of, you know what I mean, a bit more. Don't know the word for it. No, it's not coming to me. I feel like I'm one of those people who, I would love to have fillers, but like the look of fillers, but I probably won't get them. Definitely no shade or anything for anyone who does have them. Like, I don't know, but right now I'm not going to get them. I just think I'm a bit scared of the, the whole needle thing. So, and I, but I do also love to have like the look of like big plump lips. So when they reached out to me, I was like, this is the perfect thing for me, to be honest, because if it actually really works, then this is just what I need. And... I love the products. Like, I literally love the feeling of the little tingle it gives on the lips. I think that's so good. Also, what's really good, these products are vegan and cruelty free. Obviously, anyone can use them. I don't know if you can tell the difference already with the plumper. I'll show you close up. So, they also sent me a little lipstick, which is so good. So, this is the lipstick in the shade Bare, and it's just the perfect nude. You can see. Love this. And I'm just going to apply this onto the lips. I'm like a. A nude lip is just basically all I ever wear, so this is perfect for me. And you just leave the primer on, I think, so. Literally makes your lips look so much bigger. I can't actually get over it, like I love these products. And then they also sent me the gloss. Let me get this, look at this. Just, sorry, can we just have a close in on this? It's so good and it has like a little bit of glitter in it and I just think it's such a nice gloss and all these products as well have the tingling sensation but it does stop after like half an hour okay so that is the lip i'll do you a bit of closer but you can definitely see a difference in the size of them like i haven't overdrawn them at all sorry i've still got the um sorry look at me doing that and i've still got my baking on let me just brush that off That is no overdrawn or anything. That is literally just these products. So thank you so much to Project Lip for sending me these. I love them. And this is going to be my go-to lip combo from now. So if anyone sees my lips looking nice and glossy and juicy. 
and plump definitely these i've got on my lips i just the finished makeup look like i said i'm literally so so impressed with the plump effect of those products link project lip down below in the description box and you can definitely go check them out so i really hope you all enjoyed this makeup look i absolutely love how it turned out i feel like this is just my go-to everyday sort of glam makeup so i hope you enjoyed it so I post videos every single Thursday and Sunday on my channel. So if you don't want to miss any more uploads, then definitely subscribe. And thank you all so, so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.